Number 27, a spring and block are in arrangement of this figure over here. When the block is pulled out to x equals to 4 centimeters, we must apply a force of magnitude 360 newtons to hold it there. We pull the block to x equals to 11 centimeters and then release it. How much work does the spring do on the block as the block moves from initial x equals to 5 centimeters to letter a 3 centimeters, letter b minus 3 centimeters, letter c minus 5 centimeters, and letter d uh, minus 9 centimeters. So the first thing that we have to do is to calculate the spring constant, k, and we are going to use hook law, so f equals to minus k delta x. However, in this case, the, the problem only gives us the magnitude of the force. We don't know if it, is, if it is positive or negative, so we are going to apply the magnitude on everything. Okay, so since k is always positive, that, that won't change our answer. So k would be equal to the magnitude of the force divided by the magnitude of delta x. Okay, so the force that we are applying is 360 newtons and x is equal to 4 centimeters or 0 0.04 meters. And this gives us 9,000 newtons per meter. Okay, so that's the spring constant that we have. So, okay, so now all we have to do is to use the equation to calculate the work done by the spring, which is equal to 1 over 2 k, the initial position is squared, minus, sorry, not plus, minus, minus 1 over 2 k, the final, sorry again, the final position squared. And that's pretty much it. We just have to replace the letters by the numbers and that's all we have to do. We're not going to use this value over here. So for either A, the work done by the spring is equal to, let's simplify this equation over here, x i squared minus final x squared. So this is equal to 1 over 2 times 9,000 times the initial position, which is 0 0.05 squared minus 0 0.03 squared. And this gives us, let's see, this gives us 7.2 joules. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, it's the same thing, so it's going to be, it's the same equation, so 1 over 2 times 9000, which multiplies 0 0.05 squared minus 0. 0, minus negative 0 0.03 squared, and this will give us the same answer because we are squaring, squaring a negative number, so it will become positive. Let us see, again, the same thing. So 1 over 2, which multiplies 9,000, which multiplies 0 0.05 squared, minus, minus 0 0.05 squared, and you can see that this term goes to zero, so this is equal to zero. So letter D, the work done by the spring is equal to one over two times 9,000 times 0 0.05 e squared minus, minus 0 0.09 e squared, and this gives us minus 25 joules and that's it you just have to apply the numbers in the equations and it doesn't have to think too much to do this problem